Hey everybody, this is Paul. So we just finished uh, creating the uh, print function in our stack.cpp file. And so now we're done creating all of our functions. So let's go ahead and test all of these in the main.cpp file to make sure that our stack class is working properly. So I'm opening up the main.cpp file now and I'm just going to tell it to include the iostream library in case I decide to print some stuff to the screen. And then the other thing I want it to include is going to be the stack.h header file. So that way it knows what we're talking about when we start using the word stack and uh, those types of things. So now what I need to do is I need to create a stack object. So I'm going to type in stack and then I'll name my object Paul. And uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this object to test uh, the functions. So right now I'm going to test the push function. And so I need to push a string and an integer, so I'll just push the word Paul. And then I'll also push uh, an integer 3. So what this will do is it will create a new item, and uh, basically this will be the beginning of our stack. And it will place Paul in the name variable, and it will place 3 in the value variable of that item. So then what we're going to do, let's just go ahead and push a few more items onto the stack. So let's just copy and paste this a few times. So I don't know, we'll do it four times. And let's see, um, let's just do coffee for the next one. And see, I haven't had any coffee today. I should probably have some coffee once I'm done. So I'll put zero since I haven't had any coffee today. And let's see, what else? Lunch. I need to eat some lunch. So I haven't had any lunch either. So I'll put zero for lunch. And let's see, uh, we can also do videos. And what have I made today? I don't know. I don't even know how many videos I've made today. Probably something like six. I'm totally guessing. I guess we'll find out once I'm done and upload all these. So anyway, this is just a few different names and a few different values that we're going to uh, put inside of items that we will place on the stack. So we've pushed these four things onto the stack, these four items. So let's go ahead and test uh, the push function and the print function. And we'll see if uh, we actually get the correct results when we build and run this. So if this works, this should push Paul, and this will be the bottom of the stack. And then it should have coffee above that one, and then lunch. And then the last thing we pushed goes on the top of the stack. So videos will be at the very top, and Paul will be at the very bottom when we call this print function. So let's go ahead and test this really quick. Let's go ahead and build and run and see if that works. So let's see, it looks like everything's working. So it says videos six, lunch zero, coffee zero, Paul three at the bottom. So that worked exactly like I wanted it to. So that part's working fine. So I guess the next thing we can test is the pop function. So right now we know the push function works, we know the print function works, and we also know that the read item function works because the print function simply calls the read item function inside of it. So we know that uh, since we're getting stuff printed to the screen that the read item function is working. Since the read item function is actually what's printing stuff to the screen, uh, the print function is just kind of calling the read item function. So we know all three of those work. So the last function we need to test is the pop function. So I'm just going to do pop and uh, this should pop the last item off of the stack and it should print the contents of that so we probably should do a little bit of IO that way we know that we're doing the popping here so we'll do C out and then we'll just say popping and a new line here and let's see if we pop let's see so so first it's going to just print the stack and then we're going to let's go ahead and pop all four of these items off so let's just go ahead and copy this and uh, we'll paste it and we'll just paste it uh, let's do just paste it five times so let's see so what's going to happen here now is it's going to print the stack and then it's going to pop the first item off and then the second item and then the third and then the last item it's going to pop off and then when it gets to this one right here it's going to attempt to pop off but uh, we wrote the pop function so that it will tell us that the stack is empty if it tries to pop off an item when there is no item on the stack. So it should pop off each item of the list and then it should tell us that the stack is empty when we try to pop it a fifth time. So let's go ahead and build and run that and see what happens. Make sure that that's working correctly. And so okay, let's take a look at this just to make sure here. 
So let's go to the very top. So we've got videos, lunch, coffee, Paul. So this was the print function right here. So now we see popping, which means we're using the pop function. And uh, so it pops off the top one, which was videos. And then let's see, it pops off lunch, and then pops off coffee, pops off Paul, and then it tries to pop off one more, but then it says there's nothing on the stack. So it recognized that the stack was empty, so that part works. So I guess the only other thing that we can uh, really look at here is now that we've popped everything off and the stack is empty again, we just need to make sure that our program is able to build a new stack once we've kind of built one and then got rid of one. Uh, let's test to make sure that we can build another one after that, after that happens. So let's just go ahead and uh, we'll just do another C out statement here. And we'll just say uh, new stack. And then we'll just kind of put, we'll just put a few new lines before this. And then we'll just uh, do a new line afterwards. And so this is going to be the new stack. And then we're just going to do Paul dot uh, push. And uh, then what we're going to do is we'll just pass in something new. And uh, see, what did I do up here? I did Paul Coffee Lunch Videos. And uh, so let's see. Um, I don't really know what else to put. Uh, book. Uh, so we've got some books on my desk. And uh, let's see, I've probably got like 100 books in this room. So we'll put 100. And uh, then what we'll do is we'll do we'll push on another item. And let's see, we've got, I don't know, there's a pencil sitting in, sitting in front of me, so we'll do pencil, and there's one pencil on my desk right now. And uh, then we'll go ahead and just print this off once again. So we need to do paul.print. And uh, we'll just test to make sure that this works. So let's go ahead and build and run this, just to make sure that we can recreate a stack once we've kind of popped all the items off of a previously existing one. So let's go ahead and just kind of look at this real quick just to make sure everything's working. So if we go to the top here, we've got uh, the original print statement, videos, lunch, coffee, Paul, videos. And actually videos was from the popping part. So videos, lunch, coffee, Paul was the original print. And then it pops off videos, lunch, coffee, Paul. And then it says there's nothing on the stack and now we get to our new stack and then this is the print function for the new stack and uh, it prints off the uh, two items that we've added let's go ahead and get back to that there we go so the two items I added for the new stack was books and pencil and pencil was the last item so that goes to the top of the stack and uh, the first item is on the bottom of the stack so that works exactly how we want it to so anyway it looks like our stack class is working so you guys can uh, use this to kind of modify it and use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. So I hope this helps you guys understand how to build a stack class project. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, feel free to leave me comments about uh, these videos and uh, about what other topics you might want me to cover. So anyway, um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next tutorial and uh, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.